you know, in 2.1.0, we realize people are very curious about coffee and um, they start to look for alternative experiences and they're studying it a bit like you know tea leaves or fine wine. Um, what we're trying to do is to create a space that is one of a kind and it's all about the coffee culture. I think it's really uh, looking deep down back into the root of what coffee is about and the farmers, sustainability, and also direct sourcing. You know, Cha Chan Ting coffee and the multiple chain, the main difference is um, the Robusta coffee and the Arabica for coffee. That is the first thing consumers know. But within the Arabica, there's also different levels and gradings of the beans. So this is something that separates between the chain coffee and the specialty coffee. For some of the multiple chains, because of the scale and, and the size that they have, it's rather difficult for them to be able to source 100% of the beans from 80 points and above plantations. One of our goals is that when people come to our coffee shop, they always have a, have a different experience. For example, our Repulse Bay outlet is actually right in front of the beach. So the design idea is a casual, chillaxed kind of coffee place. And then we have another outlet, for example, the one in Causeway Bay. It's our flagship, so it's, it's a bit more serious. Um, it has the roastery there. Um, and then we have another one, um, which is a bike-themed uh, outlet. Um, because that's in another neighborhood where traditionally it's a bike manufacturing destination. It's in Wan Chai. After five years of um, sharing and experiencing single origin coffee with the public, um, we're now bringing in single origin chocolates to our friends as well. Coffee to us is a connector. It connects to people of different ages, of different ethnicity, and it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, um, this is the place where people come in and interact and talk and share. <laughs>